What is going on people? I got some more BT13 gameplay for you guys. So uh, Chaos Gallant Mill over on the right. Uh, more of a roguish deck for sure. Like this deck isn't anything uh, crazy insane. But it did actually top uh, regional somewhat uh, recently at the time of recording this. So I guess that was more of like Lilith. But they were um, playing the kind of Guillaume online that just on evolve. Mill 2, Mill 3. Uh, and then just milling your opponent out. So it can be a decent strategy. Um, I'm playing Alphamon over on the left. Um, got some new support in BT13, new Alphamon, new uh, Doru line as well. The new uh, Dora Gray is a really, really nice addition because uh, now we can play the cool boys and the door Dex Dora Gray and stuff again uh, instead of like Graymon and stuff. So um, we're both getting set up a little bit. Our opponent did uh, mill us uh, two with the Black Ralmon. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and play a Dorumon to uh, pass the turn, basically discarding an X any body drawing two. And my hand is absolutely uh, dog water right now because um, I'm basically just passing with no rookie in the breeding. Our opponent is going to free play a Takata with the uh, BT12 Guillemon, I believe. So he's kind of playing a mix of both the light and dark Guillemons, um, like both the regular as well as the Chaos Gallant. Uh, hitting a UG in security would be uh, pretty great for me if I had anything to promote. Um, but he's just going to mill out some more rookies. And he's milled two Doru Graves at this point as well. Um, I've only got five in the deck. Uh, so that's pretty unfortunate since um, he's going to do that. And then killing uh, the Doru as well. So I'm out of rookie. Um, hitting a black memory boost. Again, really strong security. Playing a Coda. Hopefully I can hit something. Um, but we're actually not going to hit anything takeable. I'm going to hit a Mercury Mon, and then thinking I'm resolving Black Memory Boost, I'm going to take it until my uh, friend points out to me. And then after that, I'm just going to scoop. Like, my hand was basically unplayable at that point. So even though uh, my opponent's really not doing anything crazy, he can just go into, like, a Gallant, Trash Security, since I've got nothing on field with a BC12 effect, and you, you already know. So not going to play out that one. We're just going to go Game 2 and hitting off Rookie with Coda. Uh, Coda is pretty good here because it does grab us the um, Doru Gray, the limited one of Doru Gray, revealing three ultimates. So I kind of basically have to take one of them, and I'm not going to take the Dex Doru Grays because uh, this Doru Gray is really strong against uh, this deck as well. Being able to dodge the deletion effects is pretty strong because he does have things like Mega Drabon, Galatmon, etc. So being able to prevent uh, any deep production is pretty relevant, but um, effects from deleting it is pretty important. So sticking in a Dorumon to choke our opponent to one and then drawing a card off the Dory is pretty strong. So setting up for um, an Alphamon play next turn is, is definitely what I want to do. And putting our opponent to one, I know at this point all he can do is like evolve into another Growlmon, a War Growl. Um, we've got two in the trash, so he could evolve War Growl, play a Takato for free. Um, so I think that's what's going to go on here is going to just mill three, milling a Takato, and he can uh, play either one of the Takatos or a Guillemon, I believe. Uh, but we're going to get the Tamer, um, and then it's going to pass turn to me, starting me at 3 with the Coda. I'm uh, going to go Alpha 1 here for a cost of 3, sticking the Oryu underneath, gaining a memory, drawing card off the Inherited, uh, devolving the War Growl, and then going to go X Anybody, swing into Security, X Anybody, Digivolve, into the Oryukin for a cost of 3, uh, checking 2 off of the Door Gray, uh, and on to spending at the end of the attack because of the Oryu in the now end of turn, being able to rewind time, basically, um, going back from two to four, I believe. Um, just sticking a bunch of things back underneath uh, to my bottom of the deck. Checking two more security cards. Um, don't have a rookie still, but I don't really care at this point. We've already gone through our main combo. Gonna go Mercury Mon here, giving itself blockers pretty strong. Uh, because what I can do is just like evolve into a Doru Gray. And Doru Gray will retain the blocker, being able to then reveal three. Uh, sticking an Oryu underneath it, because I think I've got another Alpha Mon in hand. And just putting our opponent to one, and once again, I don't think he, there's anything he can do at this point with just a Guillemon in play. Um, he doesn't even have the Warp to cut or anything, so he's just going to scoop it up. And uh, we're going to go Game 3. So Game 3 is going to make me go first, definitely, and wants the card advantage in Gallant. I honestly think Gallant is a deck that likes to go second as well, uh, just because you're trying to answer your opponent's board. So we're going to set up Doruga in the back. He's going to go Guillemon, the Rush Guillemon as well as the X Antibody, uh, to boost that um, Inherited... Um, you know, being able to get an extra thousand on your DP threshold is pretty cool. Cycling another card and just playing Takato out, putting me to one. We're going to go Cool Boy, returning the favor, putting our opponent to one. Um, just being able to grab the Doru here. I think I had already, like, a copy or two of the Dex Doru Gray in my hand. Um, and you usually, like, you can evolve that for four. You usually don't want to do it because that is so much memory. Um, and you're not getting any real 
value off of it versus if you go door gray and the next door gray you get the door gray on evolve and then the dex door for one gaining back to one memory popping level four etc uh, so our opponent is going to just choke us to one again milling two cards um not the best mills for him he's not really running me out of resources with those cards it's, it's totally fine like black memory boost okay but the the conqua i don't really need against this deck we're going to take the um dex doruga i think and then just having dakota to set us to three is really strong so next turn i think we're in a pretty good um, position to be able to come out possibly going to plus two memory off the cool boy dex doruga combo is pretty strong uh, but our opponent, I think, here doesn't want to commit too much to the um, Gramon on field. If he goes like Megidramon or something, that could definitely float. But if he goes into a Gallant pretty early, I'm probably going to just pop that with Oryukin. Uh, the thing about the Gallantmon deck versus something like Black or Grey, uh, the Greymon Garumon lines is they don't basically have any sort of protection. You don't have to worry about uh, no battle or card effect protection. Uh, so Analog here is going to come down grabbing the uh, war growl and along i do like a lot in this deck it not only fills up your trash uh for things like the war growl um to be able to then free play takato or a um uh, but then also you know gain back the memory if you're when your stack dies um and it's just a consistency card so we're gonna go double takato here uh putting me back to three uh with the um you know the ruga in the back and i'm thinking whether or not i want to raise here uh in order to maybe put pressure on my opponent um he is actually going to blitz first um, and then just being able to uh, trigger the analog is something you could do, but I'm going to start at 3 anyway, so there's not really a point. Um, so you're going to blitz, die to the Alphamon, which is good for me, and I'm just going to play Yuji, Black Memory Boost to get the ultimate one stack line. I've got infinite memory next turn. Like That's the thing I do like about Alphamon. Um, the card advantage can be a little bit sus sometimes, because you do discard from your hand quite a bit, uh, but you've just got memory for days. Like With Coda... Uh, I'll be at 3, UG I'll go to 4, Cool Boy I'll go to 5, Black Memory Boost will put me to 7 effectively, um, and then not only that, but then the Daruga effect on uh, Discard uh, will give me another memory, so I effectively have like 8 memory to work with here, uh, meaning I can go from a level 4 to a 7 like no problem, not only that, but then uh, Oriken's ability to rewind time basically is really strong as well. So we're going to go Dex Daruga and then Dora here. The new Dora Gray is pretty strong. Uh, really good into Shine. Um, being able to prevent the DP uh, you know, reduction is still really good. And then being able to just stick anything underneath. So you still got that Grade Mon effect where it looks top 3 sticking something underneath. I think I'm miss missing an Alpha Mon here. So I'm going to go Doru to, you know, get an extra search in. I can definitely Black Memory Boost as well to just play another rookie to search. Um, so we're just going to go Oryu here, I think, to put our opponent to one. Um, to then choke him, killing the Black War Grey, or Black War Growl, I think. Yeah, Black War Growl on field. Um, and then on Evolve, Oryu will be able to stick something under. And then it prevents itself from being deleted uh, by card effects, which is really good against this deck. Gaining 2,000 and then end of turn from the new door grade to stick another rookie underneath just to get an extra material for like an Oryukin or something. But unfortunately, I will have to evolve an Oryukin for 7, which is definitely not what you want to do. But it's still not even like that bad because if you bottom back 7 materials, it's still like a free EVO level 7. So honestly, it's still like fine, especially against a more rogue deck like this. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but Black War Growl, again, just milling out um you know my cards and i have drawn quite a bit of cards and at this point i think i'm down to like a pretty low number in uh in my deck here um and so he's gonna go black growl um uh, possibly into the um war growl here but instead we are going into the bt12 war growl uh this one on evolve delete something 4k or lower but i guess it'd be 5k with the kiyomon x but if nothing's deleted you can digivolve into gallant for minus one so definitely a pretty strong uh, card here we're just going to digivolve into the Megidramon, which is treated as chaos gallant so it definitely counts so evolving for four basically um to cut will give it blitz and then on evolve it uh effectively mills five you kill something 10k 11k at this point but since there's nothing on field it'll just mill five um and then you can definitely blitz but i am blocker retail at this point like 14 15k so he's not going to do that um and so we're just gonna pass turn starting me off with three my opponent is still at five security um but i do have oryu plus doru great underneath so that's right there's already four checks um so we're gonna go alpha mon or you can for a cost of seven on evolved deleting the uh, megidramon and then of course my opponent is getting ready to resolve like 50 effects so of course the analog here is going to put him to uh, two or something I believe um, and then going to be able to add back a Guillemon, um with the uh, Black or Growl effect the new um, new ish EX4 uh, 
growl line it just gets you add uh, gets you a card back to your hand um, and then the Megidramon does actually get to play out a uh, Gyumon plus a Takato so our opponent I don't know if he just didn't have a another Takato play but you do get to play both it's not one or the other um, so regardless being able to play that and then I'm just going to rewind time sticking um, a bunch of things underneath I think um, and are not at this point just gonna swing first and then really down to quite a low number of cards in deck. I think I'm digging for another Oryukin at this point, because if I do have one more Oryukin, I can probably go for game, because I think I maybe had Zubagon Punch or a hybrid or something in my hand. So we're going to Oryukin um, to bottom deck a bunch of cards, and I think at this point I bottom decked eight, because I go from two to six, I believe. So I do apologize about that, guys, because Oryukin does have a cap on how many you can bottom deck. It is seven, so I should have one less memory. Um, I, I, again, just reading, I, w I wasn't reading this, this card the way I should have. Uh, so we are digging just a little bit for the, or, or you can, because yeah, I do have the Mercury Mon, so I'd be able to swing check two, swing check two, stick the second, or you can underneath swing the last one hybrid for game. Um, so I think that's what we're digging for here, and it looks like we've got it, so we are going to go ahead, um, because I know I bottom decked it earlier, so we just, it is a matter of time before I see it again. So we're going to swing once again, checking two, and then this, the restand once again, just swinging on the last security, our opponent here is going to, uh, you know, just look at it, I guess, and then uh, swinging for the last one. I think right there I was trying to play around a, a what's it called, Rivals Barrage, which deletes the highest play cost. So definitely swinging Alphamon on the last check is going to be the correct play um, in order to dodge that. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy that showcase of Alphamon um, and how powerful it is in the set 13 format. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.